since they first opened two years ago, the Joe Nuxall Miracle League fields have provided a place to play for kids with disabilities, the first of their kind here in the tri-state. And tonight, the inaugural Miracle Ball will help to raise funds to ensure that children can keep playing. The local toes Adam Clements is in the studio right now to tell us why this isn't just a big night for Joe's memory <laughs> and why it's also a special night for his longtime partner in the booth, Adam. Good morning, John. Uh, do me a favor if you can. Close your eyes. Picture a warm Cincinnati summer night, crickets chirping, burgers on the grill, and the radio turned up. You can hear Marty and Joe, can't you? For many of us who grew up here in the tri-state, it's pretty easy to imagine. The legendary broadcast pair will always be linked in our hearts. They'll hook up again tonight in Fairfield. Joe and Marty, Marty and Joe. For more than three decades, that was the team in Cincinnati. The broadcast partners called some of the biggest moments in Reds history and forged a lifelong bond that extended well beyond the booth. We developed a relationship that uh, quite honestly was full of love and respect. Um, we knew each other so well that um, I could stop a sentence in the middle of it and he could finish and conversely I could do the same thing. The two will be back together again tonight when Brenneman is honored at the inaugural Miracle League Ball. It puts me, if no other way, in spirit with a guy who I worked with for 31 years and who uh, no one had greater respect for Joe Nuxall than I did. Nuxall never got to see the Miracle League fields that bear his name put to use, but Joe's son Kim is more than proud to carry the torch. He says dad would have loved it. It was a dream, no doubt, and it all starts with a dream. We had hoped uh, it, it would become what it's become, and uh, yeah, now that it, it has, it, it's, uh, it's, it's overwhelming, no doubt, but it's a, it's a good overwhelming feeling. The Fairfield Complex features two diamonds designed specifically for special needs children. Wheelchair accessible, rubberized, a place where everybody gets to play. Joe's Field of Dreams. They're smiling, and typically there are tears running down their face. You know, these are kids who... Um, you know, many of them never thought, never dreamed they'd be playing, playing a game. This was Joe's dream to have this type of thing for kids with physical challenges. All you'd have to say is Joe Nuxall miracle feels uh, and uh, he would start to shed some tears. Nuxall is up for the Ford C. Frick Award again. Marty says he'd love nothing more than for the old left-hander to join him in baseball's most hallowed of halls. I'd be thrilled to death and I can promise you if it happened, I'll be in Cooperstown next July. Oh, I hope it happens this year. Well, and if he gets in, that would make the first broadcast pair in history oh. to both be in Cooperstown, which would be absolutely awesome for all of us who, who grew up listening to Marty and Joe on the radio. So, fingers crossed. Now, you, you know, if you are in the public eye long enough uh, and, and enough times, you can't hide from people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Marty and Joe, I, I mean, that was as honest a relationship as you'll ever see. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The love that they had for each other. Yeah. It, it, it came across in every broadcast and actually tonight's event uh, in Fairfield at Jungle Gyms at the Oscar Center our own Bob Herzog will ah. be auctioneer and he'll uh, I'm sure be livening up the crowd. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. That'll Absolutely. be fun. Thanks a bunch Adam.